am fascinated by that period in history. I mean, I grew up pretty nerdy, um, surprise, um, with, um, who's the nerds, right? You know, I grew up with, like, civilization and these kind of dorky games that I used to play all the time. So all I did was learn about Roman and Greek history and stuff like that. So then add on the great fortune of getting Spartacus and, and learning how to sword fight and do all these cool things that I never thought I could do. And then this amazing man comes up and says, hey, would you like to be in your perfect era playing opposite an amazing gentleman in Kellen Lutz who was getting to play a Greek demigod and do more sword fighting? And I went, where do I sign it? Um, there's just something about that period that is so uh, arousing to the, to the senses, you know? It means he likes to wear a skirt. <laughs> It looks good. It's a very, very old soul, and you're very, very, very... Old. And I like a little bit of wind in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, um, you know, it's just a very old soul. Very, like very. 35 um, um, you know, know, all these lines. Uh, no, it's just, there's something about that period, and especially, I mean, the legend of Hercules is timeless. He's the absolute first superhero. Like, he defines who superheroism. You know, Superman, Batman, they're all based off the myth of Hercules in some way. And to be part of that journey, that experience, is a once in a lifetime opportunity. And this particular project just does it with such panache, it's a fancy word. Um, and it's just, it, and it does it with such heart in a way that you don't usually get to see these historical style epics. They're usually just like, let's hit things and make them fly into the sky. And not that we don't do that occasionally, but. Um, it just has such a soul to it, and, and that really called to me, and that's, that's kind of what makes this special. And you know, what was great for me was that I had not only you, who are like a professional sword fighter, uh, but also Scott. <laughs> Scott, who I, I'm sure you know, like he's, he's one of the greatest martial artists by, in the world. And, and, and uh, that, that, was, that was incredible for me, and I think if I may talk on Kellan's behalf, I think that also was a great support mechanism for you to have these two guys who are so skillful. And of course, it was a new challenge for you because now you are using different kind of weapons than what you're used to. It's pretty hard not to kick. Yeah, <laughs> but, but tell, tell, tell about your experience and, and how, how, it, how it was for you. No, no, I had a fantastic experience, and um, how I got the part was uh, I managed to get a copy of the script. Uh, I won't name who my source is because Abby Lerner's over there. But um, <laughs> I just felt that I could play this part, but it's something that I don't think people could really see me playing at the time. And all I ever ask as an actor from a producer or casting director is let me audition for the role and then just give me that opportunity. And you know, if you don't want me, then that, that's fine. So I auditioned for it. Luckily, Luckily Rennie saw sense. Yes. <laughs> and um, got to play this brilliant uh, character that was so meaty and uh, there's such a lot to chew on and uh, it's yeah it's very it's always fun to play the bad guy as well I, I really relish doing that um, and it's a great character to play and also the, the fights obviously I'm known for that so we can kill two birds with one stone very sexy um, well I'm just gonna say one thing it was so good I didn't want to rush it <laughs> I, 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 got, I think my, I got my tongue wrong. Right, so tell the story, Rob. Which one? Oh, yeah. The ice cream story. The ice cream, yeah, what was the ice cream? So, I, I mean, we just, it, we, I have the best cast. I gotta say, this, this cast has been amazing to work with. The talent, let alone, but the people, their hearts, you know, just everyone to the core is just a wonderful person. So on set, we're joking around, and it makes, such a tight family to work with people who you actually enjoy working with. And with Gaia having our romance scenes, we, we couldn't not giggle at some of our... I mean, we, we had to make love on a goat. Like a... <laughs> not on a goat, like a goat, goat, like, like rug. That, that may or may not have... It was a live goat. It was a live goat. We did. Oh, well, that was our scene. That, that was. Amazing. It was also a strong goat. Okay, so, so what, what happened? What was the story? You brought ice cream. What, what happened was, um, Kellen and I liked having ice cream on set, and diets, diets, yes. Diets, and very innocently, um, Kellen said while eating his ice cream, oh, "It's so good. I don't want to rush it." <laughs> and we were in the middle shooting the sex scene. 
So that's just but it all works. that's every day. That's one day, one day working with with that team. <laughs> and then last night, oh, <laughs> I think I know exactly what you're thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing happened. There, anyways, we have this emblem, and it's a snake. Can I? Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what did you? Say? So I, I, I like. It's actually an amulet. That's an amulet she gives him. That is. It represents our love. Anyway, I show her the dangling snake, and she's like, "Don't put your snake in my mouth or something." <laughs> Eat that snake, are you? <laughs> <laughs> There's so many sexual. Oh, we're young. Yeah. 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 For the kids in the audience, they're talking about lollies. Is it still PG <laughs> 13? Or... Yeah. 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 Yeah.